what's up everybody welcome to the mix it up podcast i am mike and lo and behold guess who's back hi nick hi this guy i thought he deserted the podcast he was he's been out man he's been out making music putting out music videos with him and his girlfriend came out with this fucking song that has been in my fucking head for days right (laughs) And you got to go see it. I'll play the song at the end of this podcast so you guys can hear it too. But Nick and Amory, his girlfriend, put out a a video, a song that she wrote the lyrics and you did the music to. Yeah. It's uh, like, follow la la, la, <laughs> follow la la. And I swear to God, this shit is like inside my fucking brain where on Sunday I'm watching uh, the Giants and they scored. And I got up. I was like, fa la la la, down to the stream, to the water. And my dog's just looking at me fucking bugging out. But <laughs> you got to, Nick, we're, I'll put the, uh, we got to remember to put the link to the YouTube video. So I got people watch it. Yeah. And it can, it can explain because, you know, both of you guys look pretty in the video. <laughs> you had your flannel shirt. Uh, every hat on a big hat. It was just <laughs> like it was crazy. Then all of a sudden, you had wardrobe changes in oh, the yeah. middle of it. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're in different clothes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's a good video, man. Well done, I uh, guess. Uh, Joe Rubo and and your brother edited it. Uh, I edited it, but they they filmed it. Oh, Joe, edited it? I edited it. Yeah, Joe and his fiance, um, did the, like the first, probably like half of it, and then my brother. And then I realized I didn't have enough film because like when I was upstate with Joe and Amory and uh, Megan, Joe's fiance, like they were just like, well, the, Joe and a- Megan would have kept going. But Amory was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, we don't have enough fucking footage. <laughs> and I knew we didn't have enough footage. And, but uh, we went up again. And, and uh, thank God my brother was up there and he fucking uh, he came up with some cool angles. Um, Like the whole at the end, he was walking in the river and like the scene where she's sitting on the bridge. I don't know if you remember yeah, that or yeah, not. Yeah. He took that. He got all artsy with it. Uh, she don't... was like hanging off the bridge. I'm like, don't fall. But I was concerned. <laughs> I was like, because the way the angle was shot, I'm like, I don't know how deep that fall is. If she's right. hanging over the ledge. <laughs> it's a pretty good fall and it's not a deep river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, shit. But it was, yeah, it was a cool video. I nice. liked it. Uh, song. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to like stop like, you know, talking to you guys because I went to the choices fucking show and then I had that fucking getting your pants song in my head. So now I got two fucking songs from you guys, <laughs> like in my head and shit. Like, I swear to God, I can't get it out. I That's fucking awesome. sing that shit to myself out loud. Get into her pants? Mm-hmm. Both of them. <clears throat> I'm, dude, That's I'm driving funny. around my, on my route. I'm like, get into her pants. Get into her pants. Get into her pants. <laughs> Got to make it happen. I'm like, I don't know what that guy says right there, but I just like, I like it. <laughs> he goes, I just, uh, I just fucking like it. He goes, it's all I want. And oh, I'm that's gonna what he make says? it happen. Yeah. Oh, that's all I want. I don't know. Cause it, it sounds like he's like, I don't know. Like it was a weird pitch or tone. I just couldn't comprehend the words. Yeah. I couldn't understand it. It just sounds like, <laughs> and I'm going to make it. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, That's good, funny. man. So, uh, yeah, welcome back. Nice, I, had, nice. um, I did one pod by myself, but then the other one last week I had uh, John Depot and his boy Ralph came on. So shout out to them for, uh, nice. you know, for filling in, coming through. So, yeah, way to hold it down, boys. Thanks. Yep. Yep. You know, I feel like if I don't <laughs> like if I don't come back on the pod, like me and you will just not be friends anymore because I don't know if anybody knows this or not, but Mike trainer never calls me ever. I call him like every single week, but I have, I've never gotten a phone call from Mike trainer in my whole entire life. I'm not maybe like, Hey, where are you? Like in Atlantic city or something like that. <laughs> like where the fuck are you? That's it's it's I'm usually, not, huh? I'm, not, I, I'm just not thinking of you. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Like, I but I, that's my nerfy life. I don't think of anybody. So all that's my good. all my phones, if you look at my phone, it's all incoming. <laughs> it's nothing's ever going out. <laughs> so it's just not you. You know what I'm saying? No, fuck off, Mike. <laughs> um, no, but every every Monday I call Mike. He didn't pick up this Monday because yeah. I wanted to see how he did gambling. He didn't pick up the piece of shit. So now I have no idea. Oh, so you call late. I forgot about it. Usually you call in the morning when I'm like uh, driving to work or something. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah, then I pick up. 
But yeah, he called me like I didn't do good in gambling, so yeah, uh, it, was, it wasn't a good week. So let's just <laughs> let's just keep it at that and move. All on. right, <laughs> just put an F on it and keep it moving. Put a stamp on that shit. Yeah, man. lick the envelope. Yo, before we get into topics, I want to ask you: Have you seen the show Wednesday? No, it looks fucking pretty sick. It's fucking so good. I'm about. I'm on like the last episode right now. It's so good. I don't know if it's because like it's obviously like a mixture of reasons why like. I didn't even I don't even remember the Adams family movie back in the day. Like in terms of I saw it probably a million times. I don't fucking remember it at all. I don't remember it either. But this this show must like pull about in like the subconscious memories out of you and make you just love it because it's directed by Tim Burton. Oh, it's, that's okay. it's so fucking the, the girl who plays Wednesday plays it so fucking good. It's just creepy. It's not like scary or anything like that. It's just you just you just want so much more of it. It's one of the best, it's really one of the best shows I ever saw, man. It's fucking it's just really good. Really good. What's it on? Is it on Netflix or? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. One of the streaming services. Yeah. I got to yeah. check it out. Yeah. Really, really good. Um, He's the one but... that created like Edward Scissorhands and all that shit. Of course I got to see it. You know? Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah. It's Burton's work, man. Burton's good. Yeah. The, the stuff that goes on in this show, you're like, how the fuck does anybody, how could somebody be so creative to think of this? Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, there's so many instances like this. Like, I don't know. You just uh, like Rob used to say to me back in the day, he used to be like, I understand how you could make a song. I'm like, I don't know. Anybody could fucking do it. Right. But like, <laughs> then you say, all right, everybody can't make a song. Right. But I think like everybody can, cause I don't know. Cause I can make songs, but like Tim Burton, I'm like, what the fuck are you? Who are you? You're a yeah. lunatic. Like, how are you coming up with this shit? You know what I mean? I, I think you gotta be somewhat off in the head to be able to come up with shit like that. Yeah. You know, off to the normies, the normies be like, yo, he's a little off, yeah. but in his world, with his level of people, yeah. that's like, all well, like considered normal. So he probably just hangs out with some fucking whack jobs, but I'm just brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You know, You're right. You know, what's funny. I'm pretty sure in this show, they call normal people normies because there's like, oh, wow. there's, there's outcasts. Who are like they have like super power, like weird powers and shit like that. Some werewolves. It's like you know, it's sci fi shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just it just hit me. I think they called them the normies. It's fucking awesome. Not <laughs> watch that shit. They, they stole your word. It's one of the best fucking names I think I ever thought of. Normies. Or I've heard it somewhere else and I've just been using it the whole time. But I'm like, fuck it, yeah. Normies is the fucking best. Look, look at this fucking normie over here. <laughs> <laughs> just doing normal shit. <laughs> I like mouth breather too. That's a good one. Yeah, mouth breathers are the best. They just okay. walk around like dumb it is. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> fucking with their mouth wide open. Not Holy be able shit. to fucking comprehend anything. anything. <laughs> Plenty of them. Shit. All right. Well, thanks again, Mike, for holding it down over the past couple of weeks. Thanks, John Depot and, and his friend Ralph. Um, Ralph from uh Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Oh, by the way, I heard yeah, I heard a Christmas story. The second part was was awful. Do you know they came out with a new one this year? No, nah, I didn't hear that. Like with Ralphie all grown up. Oh, who wants to see that? I heard it was really bad. I only heard about one review of it, but I heard it wasn't that good, which sucks, but whatever. Yeah, I'll pass on watching that shit. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we have some stuff to talk about. I'm just going to read what Mike sent me today. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is, but it says, I haven't heard the ADL have any outrage about this. What is this? Amazing. Amazon CEO announced that they will not remove the film that Kyrie Irving shared on Twitter. Okay. There you go. That's, yeah, it's wild. That's a, that's a topic. Um, uh, which one am I doing? I live in an area called Sail Bay of San Diego. I used to sell sports cars. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> lightning Strike Survivors Group criticizes Drew Bees for all oh, for his fate and lightning strike publicity. Think- oh, he did that on purpose? He did that? He did that. Yeah, yeah. I think he might. Yeah, he did that. I think you might want to turn your mic down a little bit. I'm, I'm running like hot. It sounds like you're pounding. No, I don't hear it. How's I mean, that? How's that? Turn, turn it up a little bit. Good. Turn it up How's a little that? bit more. A little bit more. How's that good? Good. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah. I think that's good, good right there. All right, cool. Yes, how do you come in like a little um, loud? Yeah. Yeah. Drew Brees with the lightning strikes. Fucking hilarious. Um, all right, let's see. Now I see New York governor signs anti hate crime bill days after synagogue attack spoiled. Yeah, that ties right in with the um, Kyrie Irving situation. Okay. 
Um, New York Supreme Court reinstates all employees fired for being unvaccinated. Orders back pay. Didn't we already know that? What did you say? Didn't we already know that? Didn't that already happen? It did. Did we talk about it? Yeah. I, I do. I had that picture on my phone for a while, so I wasn't too sure. Usually I delete oh, the topics. Yeah. Maybe we never got to talk about it. That could be it, too. Yeah. And I have a couple topics as well. Um, Sounds good. And we'll Drew just Brees. do just like random shit that we'll bring up. But um, what do you want to talk about first? Drew Brees. That's yeah, that's the one. So, you know, people that don't know about it, like Drew Brees, he's like he partnered with a, a betting company. You know how all these sites are coming out with fucking betting and gambling and shit. Now that's starting to pop up legal everywhere. So now Drew Brees, the former NFL quarterback for the Saints, he, uh, you know, teamed up with them and he was filming a commercial and they had like CGI and like he was on set, like filming a commercial and they used CGI to get a lightning bolt to pretend like he got hit by lightning on set. Yeah. So they leaked that out saying, oh, my God, what happened to Drew Brees? People thought it was real. But it was really just like a promotion to get people sucked in and like want to know about this website, which is a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. And so they just showed Drew Brees getting struck by lightning. And that was it. And then people were like, is he OK? I'm looking around to find out if like Drew Brees is fucking alive or dead. Like they made it sound like he really got struck by lightning. Yeah. And the fucking thing. So no joke. There's a, a, a group called the Lightning Strike Survivors Group. Like, that is a fucking real thing. Yeah. There's, there's a group of people around the world that got struck by lightning, and they literally formed a group to talk about their lightning strike. It's fucking, it's just, I want to be inside that group. I want to pretend I got struck by lightning just to see what the fuck goes on in that group. But anyway, this group comes out, and they're so, like, they're, they're like, fucking going after Drew Brees. They're complaining. They're trying to cancel the fucking betting site all because they did this fantastic idea for a promotion for a website. I couldn't believe it. I can't believe there's a group for that. And I can't believe they're pussies. Like, you got struck <laughs> by lightning. Like, why are, you, why are you being a pussy? Yeah. You're like one of the toughest people on the planet for surviving that lightning strike. You got hit right in the head with a lightning bolt. And right. you're going to be a bitch? Come Crazy. on. If I got hit with a lightning bolt, you know, I'll probably have a scar on my head. And I'm like, and people ask me what happened. I'm like, oh, I got hit by lightning, bro. Yeah. yeah I'd be care. like, yeah, I wouldn't give a shit. Not, nothing would bother me. But, but these fucking pussies are just out of control, man. But I'm sure lightning, like getting struck by lightning, you just don't get a scar on your head. I'm sure it really fucks your shit up, like big time. But with that being said, like, if, if like, then you can't do anything then because uh, like something has happened to everybody. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's a, that's a genius idea. Ingenious or whatever the word is for them to, to do, to pull, pull, an, pull a, a stunt like that to get people to like, want to, you know? Yeah. I was hooked. But at the same time, it's almost like they like faked his death. <laughs> <laughs> they sure did. You know? <laughs> it was brilliant. That's crazy. Fucking brilliant, man. Like, you got to give that marketing company props. Like, it was a great idea. It fucking worked. They got people, like, people on one side that think it's cool, but the people that hate on it, you still got them talking about it, right. talking about the commercial. That's what you wanted, right? You're not Yo, going to make everybody happy. I, I think the moral of the story here is the fact that they could make that look so real. Who the fuck knows what's real and what's not real anymore, man? <laughs> Dude, that yeah, dude, you're right. They look if you looked at that video, it looked like my man really got struck. I was like, dude, he's dead. I thought he was dead. Yo. CGI is is no joke right now. That and lightning you know, in that lightning in the background looks so real. I watched yeah. it and I was like, oh no, that's real. That's real lightning. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, he's dead. He's fucking dead, man. I'm like, Drew Brees got hit by lightning, bro. I was texting people that. Yeah. And now they think I'm fucking nuts. Like people don't really like talk to a lot, like, yeah. but just do at work. I'm like, yo, you heard Drew Brees got struck by light and, and nobody responded. So they're yeah. probably just looking at the text like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> so now they're trying to can get that canceled, which, I mean, will it work? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe it will get him canceled. Let's hope not. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. You just can't do it. You, you can't fucking do anything without. You can't do anything without hearing it from somebody, right? You got to have thick skin, especially in like show business, man. You know what I mean? Those guys, like, say, like actors and musicians and shit like that. If you put like a, a video up on YouTube, you know how many shitty comments <laughs> people dude. write? <laughs> oh, dude, you got to see like when they throw pictures like Jonah Hill, yeah. like why, you know, as he lost weight. Yeah. And then, like, people just are nasty behind the yeah. comments. Like, look at all that flabber hanging off. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you look stupid now. Like, yeah, they, yeah. they really, like, offend the fucking guy. Yeah. You know, these calling these some magazines call bitches fat. Like, oh, look, look at this fat bitch. Yeah. That's why the troll hunters need to come back, come out in full force, man. That hunt needs those, to happen pronto. Hunt those motherfuckers down. Break down doors or fucking take out trolls. Yeah, take him out to the trash. <laughs> um, did have I had some stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, well, I guess we'll get into it at some point. But oh, yeah, yeah, let me see. So there's been a lot of rule changes now that I'm looking at Hokel, right? I I've been selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace pretty easily. I don't know, and I sold a muffler, an exhaust system for a motorcycle today, right? It was actually Rob's old exhaust pipes that when i bought his bike i got the exhaust with it and i don't have the motorcycle anymore and i had the i had the exhaust pipe so i put him up on marketplace i met with this guy and he's like yeah he's like i'm not even going to use it i just have to put it on to get an inspection done and i was like why he's like you can't have any after like market exhaust pipe on your motorcycle anymore it really? has to be like fully stock in order to get it inspected and he was like yeah, fucking Hokel passed his stupid law recently. I'm like, what? What wow. does that do? Is that like emissions or something? Maybe it's emissions, but like motorcycles probably give off like a gazillion of a percentage of all the emissions on the fucking planet, right? And now not even that. Now, New York, I have a pistol permit. I have a fucking full carry permit, all right? My birthday came up and I had to renew it because like every 10 years you have to renew that shit. I've sent the fucking paper paper in. You just have to say blah, 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 blah. Send a $10 fucking thing and you get your fucking permit back. I get this fucking thick, thick wad of paper back. It says, you did not fill out the proper, you do not have the proper fucking uh, credentials. You have to take a 12 hour fucking in-person course and a two hour fucking shooting course and these other two fucking things. And it's like 500 bucks. Get in order, in order to get here. my fucking full carry permit, which I've had for over 10 fucking years. So I call them up. I'm like, what? There's no grandfathering in? I understand, like, if you're just getting it new for the fucking Ooh, first yeah, time, yeah. right? Oh, no. Every single buddy, everybody who has it has to fucking do this now. That's why? fucking wild. Because, you know, how half these motherfuckers are probably like, fuck it. I don't, I'm not even going to keep my fucking full carry. And the other half, they'll make fucking money off of fucking scumbags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people just won't renew. And then right. if they get caught with it, carrying, and that's fucking money. They just, it'll be a fine, but it'll just be fucking money. You got to fucking come out of your pocket either way. It's a fucking money grab. Plus, that's a way of trying to get keep guns off the street probably or whatever with the gun crime. But well, it's fucking stupid because it, the shootings is happening like when in the fucking, uh, you know, a lot of times in the hood areas where they just could buy guns like – Whatever the fuck they want. You know how easy right. it is to just get a gun on the street? Well, wow, man. The funny the funny thing is here, though, that apparently New York has lessened its laws with full carry permit. Because it used to be like you, you try to get your full carry permit. They deny you for no fucking reason. They just say no. And then there's nothing you can do about it. Now, apparently, they can't do that anymore. It's not a judgment call. It's like you, you fill out your shit. You, you, do, you pass your background check and all that shit. And you get your fucking full carry permit, which is... Technically, like, you know, the Second Amendment, and isn't it like that's the right to bear right arms? To bear arms yeah. You're supposed to, you have the right to carry a gun, technically, right? Federally. And then, like, it goes state, I guess, state law or whatever, like that. Who's this little troll behind me? There's a fucking troll. The fuck is that thing? <laughs> is it a cat? It's Anne Marie. <laughs> Dude, I really thought it was fucking like Pastina or something. It looks like a cat. <laughs> um, that's funny. Yeah, so it's weird. They 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 lessen their laws, but there's got to be a reason why. I guess they don't want that many people to have it, so they're like making it more difficult for you to fucking do. When the fuck am I gonna take a twelve hour course and then another two hour course? I I get out of work fucking home at six thirty, 
And then I have no time to even do a podcast for the most, the most days. You know what you got to do? You got to hire like a body double to go take the test for you and then also do the podcast. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's what I would do. I would hire somebody to play me. Yeah. Like take this fucking sit through this hell of a 12 hour course and just give me the cliff notes. Yeah. Maybe Fuck I'll that. maybe I'll call Marco Scaragni to to I, he owes me a favor from back in the day. I, I I don't know if I ever brought this up on the podcast, but you know Marco, obviously. He's a no, big guy. He's like 6'2". He's half Mexican, half Italian. He looks nothing like me at all. He weighs probably like 260, 270 pounds. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. If, he'll probably be like, no, I weigh 240. But anyway, back in the day, uh, maybe I just graduated college or I was in college or something like that. He's like, can you teach me? Can you can you uh, tutor me in algebra? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I'm tutoring him, and then like he's like, man, it would be it would just be so much easier if you just took the test for me, right? <laughs> or I said that I was like, man, I should just take this test for you. He's like, oh shit, did I ever tell you the story or not? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, did I ever but say it on here? I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm taking your test tomorrow. So we go to we go to so and so college, right? Can't say it on the air, yeah. and. I go into his classroom and before he's like, Oh, also I have to have one of my friends cheat off you too. It's like, Oh, great. So <laughs> I, I go into this class and there's only like fucking 15 people in their tops. It's a small classroom. Right. So the teacher knew that I wasn't Marco. Right. <laughs> so I go in and I just look at him and he's like, so I sit down and I, I'm like writing in Marco's like cryptic language that he used to write in his script and then my pencil breaks and I'm like, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> so I have to go up to the teacher and be like, yo, my pencil broke. And he's like, go down to the dean's office. So I got to walk down the fucking hallway. I go to the dean. I'm like, hey, you got a pencil sharpener here? So I wow. sharpen my pencil. I go back. I This kid to the left of me is cheating <laughs> off me. Everybody in the class knows that I'm not supposed to be there, <laughs> including the fucking teacher. Because when I hand in my fucking booklet, he just looks at me and just like... <laughs> He doesn't throw his hands up, but from his eyes, he threw his hands up with his face. Like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> he probably he, he probably couldn't believe it. Like, the second he walked in, he probably knew. And then it's like, this motherfucker's pencil's broke. He's probably looking around for fucking cameras to see if he's on, like, candid camera TV and shit. Probably. Like, people are fucking with him. Probably. And then he's like, probably at the end when you came up, he's like, this motherfucker did it the whole time. He did it the whole time. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck was I thinking back then? I don't then? know. That's was... hilarious. That's fucking great, man. I didn't even know that that was the type of person I was. Like, right now, I'd be like, no, I'm not taking you to your fucking test. I went in there and took his test. What the fuck was wrong with me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Maybe we're just being like a really good friend. I That's what so. it sounds like. It sounds like he's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it for you, Marco. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you did it for like random people, I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker's a maniac. I think tutoring him must have been so bad that I was just, I would have done anything to get out of it. Oh, shit. (laughs) That's fucking good. That's a great story. Uh, Fuck. I don't even know how the fuck we got on that story, but um, let's see. Where do you want to go from here? Uh, You want to go into Hokel, being that we were talking about that lunatic? Yeah, go into that bitch. What's she doing? Um, She signs an anti hate crime bill days after synagogue attacked foiled. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I just want to see like it just it's just funny like her reaction to a certain like you know not even race but religion in this country. She sparked that to have their back, but meanwhile, all the other shit that's been going on in the city, uh, through the black community, you know anything like that. Like she didn't Uh-oh. she didn't step up and you know do it then. Why is gotcha. she doing it now? You know what okay. I mean? Her timing's a little. Little suspect. I just don't trust that woman as far as I could toss her. And yeah. probably about six to ten feet, I think I could fucking land her. Like a javelin. <laughs> like if I get like a running start and fucking toss her, I think she'd go about six to eight feet. It doesn't seem much, but it's quite a distance when you're throwing a human. It's not a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you're forming them into a spear like a, a spear like object and throwing them six to eight feet. Because you know you gotta be drunk too, so you know, you ain't doing this sober. You ain't no. throwing Catherine Hog- Hogel in a spear like shape, like a javelin, six to eight feet without you being fucked up. No, absolutely not. All right. So, people, watch out, man. 
sounds like a fun party. Instead of throwing bitches, <laughs> just throw a whole cool round. <laughs> Why is it that these people don't look like humans? She doesn't. Nah, she totally looks like an alien. She looks like, like a yeah, she looks creepy. She looks very creepy, man. She looks she looks like she's in a cult. Like she looks like one of those cult members too. Like, you know, those super religious cult members. Even though like yep. she's very democratic and, and liberal. Not that you can't be religious and democrat, but like she's a super liberal, right? Kind of. I think. I, don't know. I think she is too, right? I don't know. I just maybe maybe she's that's all I don't know what it is, but she just doesn't look like a norm a normie. She looks like a fucking Definitely alien or like a reptilian, a reptile person. Yeah, she could pull off her face and fuck a lizard lizard uh liz the lizard king would be right fucking behind her. I'm still like snake blown away by the fact that she won. Yeah, by a good margin too. Which is baffling, but I don't know, man. Maybe it's the people down in the city that voted for her. It's up north and shit around us. So like, I don't think anybody voted for her. And the city's like, it's just a fucking it's a jungle down there right now. It's crazy. You in this jungle, you can die. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's exact. I think this is the exact same conversation we had the last time I was <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> it might be, but I had that joke for like fucking years. I I love using it. That is a good die. joke. <laughs> yeah, but she's she's a fucking herb. She got she got to she got to get out of here. We should go around calling these politicians a herbs. Like go to their go to their meetings. Like Catherine, Catherine, you're a herb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bye -bye. You, you know, the, well, have the, yeah, they have the line for like the meetings and shit. Like, all right, your turn, sir. It's like, yeah, yeah. Um, you're a herb, and then I'm right behind you. And then, I'm like, okay, sir, the joke's funny. Like, next, I uh, hi, I just like want to tell that woman that she's a herb, <laughs> and then we just keep doing it. Well, like 20, 20 of us should fucking do that. Hate you that. know what? What is going on with what's going on now that we we think that all these politicians are evil? Like, you know, back in the day, we never thought that, right? Like, I don't think that uh, we thought that. Like, these people are lizards. Like, where did that? Like, when did that we say that? When we say that, we actually. Part of us means that she, she could potentially be a lizard person. <laughs> right, right. Sometimes, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, there's fucking lizard people walking amongst us. Is that a question? Like, I don't think, I think that's believable. Oh, fuck. I mean, there is people that believe in lizard people yeah. that are controlling the world and shit, and some of them live underground, which is fine if you believe that kind of <laughs> stuff. Like, I'm like, I'm on the fence. You know what I mean? Like, persuade me. Let me have right. proof. Right. If you show me a lizard person, I'm like, all right, that's a lizard person. You are right. I do believe in lizard people now. But I'm going to stay on the other side of the fence until I see one. You know what I'm saying? Even though I do believe they might exist. I mean, she 100% takes her face off at night, though. Yeah. Heads That's down. a mask. That's a yeah. fucking mask on her. Yeah. You can definitely pull that thing that's off for Halloween. It's scary. It's scary. She's scary, man. Who the fuck? But you're right, though, because now I'm looking at the um, I'm looking at the rest of that tweet, and it says May 14th, a white supremacist killed black people, 10 black people at a Buffalo market, which we know, which is fucking just insane. No legislative action. Then two white men were arrested for planning to attack a Jewish synagogue. And it's like, I know, like, Kanye's on this fucking crazy shit right now. He's losing his shit, right? Yeah, he went off and, the deep end. I mean, is this just, like, her way of saying... You know, we have to start protecting people because, I mean, now Kanye is leading this fucking revolt and shit like that. And this crazy fucking whatever he's doing. I don't know what the hell he's doing. But I mean, I don't think people are just going to be like, I don't know. That, I don't know. Maybe no, they will. They will. Yeah. Right? You know, like now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. He'll have his maniacs that will be like, Kanye, uh, yeah. I'll do whatever you want. And then right. what if they, they start attacking like innocent people? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how impressionable people like that could get yeah. i could never be that impression like if some like you know what i'm saying like if fucking don mattingly said to like we must unite we must take this bat to this race that i don't like or whatever right. i'm like no don mattingly like right. we're not i'm not gonna do that like bad, i love yeah. you but i'm not bad doing don it. mattingly bad don mattingly yeah you you bitch don mattingly bro <laughs> you bum <laughs> you're fucking post back surgery Manningly, yeah. yeah, dude. Like, wait, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, how could you be like that? That those are the mouth breathers that we yeah. talked about. Those are the people that just look up to them and 
that's it's just wild to think about that they're so they're so dumb <laughs> so fucking stupid <laughs> yeah there's a lot of fucking i think that we're lucky to live in new york in a way because a lot of the rest of the country I and mean, i don't want to say that like we're we're, su- we're superior to the country but but we are. We are. In a way. There's no doubt about it. I'm sorry. If you're listening to Kentucky, we still love you. We love you, Oklahomians and all that shit. But like, we're better. <laughs> like, it is just, that's why you all want to come here. That's why you all visit here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you come here. Like some people just have to vacation because they wouldn't be able to take it. Yeah. It was like, yo, I was in New York for three days, man. Yeah. I could never live like that, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me just have my Oreo shake. Right. At Applebee's on a date night. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody gets up and says, I'm going to go. I can't wait to visit Kentucky. Right. Nobody that's, ever does that. That's on my bucket list. You know why? Because the only thing that ever came out of Kentucky was fried chicken. And there's tons of Kentucky fried chickens around here. <laughs> <laughs> they open up chains of Kentucky fried chicken. Yeah. We take everything from any, any other state and just steal it from them anyway. Oh, yeah. We it's such it a cool. tiny state. We're not even a big state. We Nick. crush. We have a thing. We eat, we eat burgers up here. Like sometimes you call them a Texas burger. Like we fucking took your shit and brought it up to New York. Right. Now we're eating it. Texas toast. Texas toast. We got that shit up here too, man. In Texas, <laughs> it's just called toast. <laughs> oh, is that Texas barbecue sauce? Got that shit. <laughs> Damn, man. We got like it. We got it. We got this little state. There's like 30 million people that live in Manhattan alone or some stupid shit like that. Like that, maybe they don't live there, but like during the day, like during work hours, it's like 30 million people or something stupid like that. 10 to 30. I don't fucking know. That's too much. It's just people after people all over the goddamn place in the city. Like ants. Yeah. I Crazy. Yeah, I don't. That's just fucking scary to think about, man. We, yeah, could you, probably, we could take all those millions of people and just kick anybody's ass if we wanted to. Oh, That's yeah. why you love New York. You know how you can't do anything anymore and like not get caught? Like, say, like if you go down to like Manhattan, you can't even kick over like a fucking garbage can. A, yeah, garbage can. Or you, I used to just. Or a hobo. <laughs> yeah, a hobo. <laughs> or like the, the special signs at like bars or restaurants where you want to drop kick them like uh, when you're yeah. drunk. <laughs> the sandwich tables. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you're on camera for that for sure. Yeah. But yeah. like if you're in the middle of like Oregon or something like that, I'm sure that like the bars don't have cameras because they're just like, <laughs> we're not putting cameras in. You, I'm sure you can still get away with shit out there. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. There's cameras everywhere, bro. Yeah. We're walking. There's <laughs> people that fucking walk around with cameras on their fucking on their phone. It's just it's don't true. Yeah, you're right. Back in the day. You could get away with anything, especially if you knew people. Like if you could just do anything because there was no proof of anything at all other than no. like, oh, these guys. No, the, those guys said you did it. And then, you know, the judge, you're never going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Dude, yeah, you could just you could get away with anything. That's one time you... in one Go time ahead. in grade school, like I went away on vacation Yeah, and. I didn't tell nobody. So when people came around asking, like, you know, where were you? I told them I went to Kung Fu camp and now I'm the master of Kung Fu and I could just do karate on any of you and kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was in like fucking second grade and shit, you know? Man, who's to say nobody that proved you otherwise. Yeah, Not. you can't prove it. You don't know where the fuck I was. I don't know. Fuck it. There's no Facebook. You weren't yeah. finding me. Especially when you left your journal hanging around and it was filled with all like ancient, like Japanese, like saying Kung Fu fucking like <laughs> diagrams and shit. All fucking Asian on every page. <laughs> <sighs> Good old days, man. Yeah, miss those days. Yeah, but fuck, fuck cultural. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what um, we're talking about. We were. And now we got, um, let's a quick see. Break. Yeah, let's take a quick break. Let's take a quick break on the Mix It Up podcast with Mike and Nick. Nick is back. We'll be right back. All right, we are back on the Mix It Up podcast. I am Mike. That is Nick. Nick, what other topics we got left? Um, we got we got this Kyrie Irving topic. Kyrie, we got. Let's talk and about I wanted it. to talk. I wanted to talk to you, uh, you guys, about quant the quantum field, the quantum physics, in a way. Even though I have no idea how to talk about it, but let's talk about Kyrie. And I want to get into the quantum world in a little bit. 
All right, what was the uh, Kyrie situation? Oh, we, uh, so basically, like Kyrie, everybody knows the Kyrie story by now. Uh, by now, that he had to do all the, he had to literally jump through hoops to get back to playing basketball. They, they gave him like a long list, six, seven things to do before you could come play ball. And pretty crazy, whatever. But anyway, just for him tweeting the link about the movie. So now the CEO of Amazon made a public statement that he's keeping that video that Kyrie sent the link to about. So he gets to keep the video up, gets to play whoever the fuck wants to go watch it. I got to go watch it now. I want to see with this fucking Hebrews, the Negroes and give a review about it. And I'll watch that fucking thing. But now this fucking clown, the CEO, CEO, he don't get no backlash, no nothing. Yeah. And it just seems like it's like you just really went hard after the black race saying like almost like yo we own fucking the world like don't fuck with us we're gonna make you look bad he shouldn't make he shouldn't be fucking look bad now the ceo just gets to fucking play it and make all the fucking money over everybody downloading that shit oh it's yeah just, uh, it's just fucking it's wrong he get no backlash but Kyrie gets the backlash just that's some fucked up shit man it's just fucked up i mean i'm gonna I'm going to take a different angle here and be like, yo, do you think, could it be that they're all in cahoots and Kyrie's in cahoots and, 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 and they, they told them to fucking do that. So it fucking blows up that video and it brings all the eyes. Like, is this supposed to be happening? Is Kanye supposed to be doing all this crazy shit against the Jews? Like, where's all this stuff coming from? That's what I like to know. You know? Yeah. But maybe it is a fucking whole game set up. Right. Oh, a great play. It fucking orchestrated it well. What more division. Maybe yeah. more division. More something. Trying to divide. Like, why are they dividing people into groups? You know? know. Why do they want that so bad? I don't you know, know why? You know what I'm saying? Like John Lennon had that song, like, imagine there's no war, no fucking country, all that right. shit. Like, people have the power, but once you fucking put us in little fucking groups, it takes away our fucking biggest strength. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and it seems like that's whoever the, I don't know, the leaders of the free world are fucking doing to us. I mean, I I see right through the bullshit, but, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just, this is just how it is. You know what's crazy? If they didn't make a big deal about Kyrie posting that, the only people that would ever see that were people who followed him on Twitter. That's it. No, no one would, no one else. I would never know about it. This guy would never know about it. That guy would never know about it. Nope. They, they made everybody fucking aware of it. And you know how many people watch this video now, like you're saying, because of this fucking thing? So it's like, why Why are they doing this, guys? Why are they fucking doing this? If they didn't want it to be done, they would have brushed it under the fucking carpet, right? Like, wouldn't they just be like, oh, yeah. take it down, take the fucking video down, and all this shit, you know what I mean? Like, why is the video still up? Right, it just, it, maybe it is all fucking tied into all of them. I don't know. Who made the video? Who made the video? I don't even fucking know. Like, like it just seems like it seems fucking stupid, man. Who who directed that video? Who wrote who wrote the fucking movie? It beats me. Watch it was a Jewish person. <laughs> Probably. I gotta write. That would make see. that would make sense. I gotta see. Who directed I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, man? It's just the fact that they keep the fucking movie up during the whole thing. Just doesn't what's, sit right with me. What's it from Jews? What? To, how's it going? From uh, Jews to oh Hebrews to Hebrews, Hebrews to Negroes. To... Sounds like a Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> Wake Up Black America is a 2018 film directed by Ronald Dalton Jr. The film contains anti-Semitic tropes, Holocaust, and all. yeah, it sounds a little insane. Yeah, it's a little insane. <laughs> All right, so but then why would they keep it up? Especially in a day and age where you're going through everything and looking if things are misinformation. Right. But yet you keep that up. Yeah. Very, very odd, man. You're right. Very strange. Maybe we're all just getting played. I think we might have to watch it. Yeah, dude. I gotta we definitely gotta make that as a to-do list before before our next podcast. So yeah. we can actually review it and know what the hell we're talking about. Huh. It's probably just going to blow our minds where we'll be like, why would he fucking tweet this? <laughs> this <Right>. is crazy. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like this guy has officially lost his mind, but I don't, I'm hoping that I don't know what I'm hoping for because if I hope I like it, what does that say about me? But if right. I say I hate it, then people are gonna be like, "Yeah, you should hate it." I'm like, but I don't know why I hate it or not. Like I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna go in there watch it. I'll give my full honest review. I won't trigger. If I love the fucking thing, you're gonna hear me say like, "Oh, this is the best movie fucking ever," you know. Yeah. Right up there with Naked Gun, you know? So, especially if it's <laughs> funny. If it's funny, like, if it's, like, so fucking chaotic that it's funny, yeah, like, I'll laugh about that, you know? You know how, like, yeah. the Scientology have their religion and uh-huh. all the crazy shit they believe? It's just like, yeah. If it's funny like that, then, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I'm reading a little bit right now, and it goes, the thesis of the movie is that African-Americans are the true descendants of the ancient Israelites, but that Jews usurped their identity and fooled the world about it through a series of five lies. One of those lies is the Holocaust. So they're saying that the Jews are Israelites and thus God's chosen people. Number two lie is Jesus Christ was a Jew. Number three, that six million Jews were killed in a Holocaust during World War II. Four, that all races are equal or that all are brothers. And five, that the Jews are just another religious group. Wow, that's a lot. That's pretty fucking wild, man. I mean, how could you be so fucking stupid, though? There's there's Holocaust survivors yeah, <laughs> still <know>. alive. <laughs> yeah, they're still around, you know? Like if, yeah, it's like you kind of oh got to believe them. Listen, we get tricked into a lot of things, me and Mike. Like we, yeah, yeah. like I'm gonna call it being tricked because we're pretty stupid and gullible. It seems because we fall for Trick anything. Right? We think <laughs> we we're not so convinced that lizards exist, lizard people, but we're also not not convinced that the lizards exist. We, we're open to a lot of things, but very true. I'd imagine both of us would probably be not open to like the the stuff that they're spewing in this fucking movie. <laughs> I'm I'm sure of that. Yeah. Anybody that says the Holocaust doesn't exist, didn't exist, just doesn't make any fucking sense. Only because of the fucking pure fact that there are people that that are still alive from it. That yeah, live there and watch their whole fucking like everybody they know in their town, their families, their friends get killed. Nick, there's people that still say this 9-11 didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? That's people say that, so it's all the same. There's a bunch of crazy. <laughs> section of people the world that believe in like very odd shit you know what i'm saying yeah like i seen the buildings come down in 9 11 i seen the jets one of the jets flew directly over my house like right. very low almost hit my house yeah in the directions of the fucking twin towers that was the very first plane that flew directly over my house it was fucking insane it was so loud it woke me up it was fucking crazy but to say that that never happened like Yo, you people are fucking. You gotta go get checked. Seriously, yeah. you need to get checked out a little bit. Yeah, I, I understand. There's a lot of rabbit holes you could go down through, like YouTube, through the tunnels, and you could come up with some crazy material. But you gotta be at the same time realistic about it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. And if I offend you, lizard people, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. any lizards are listening, right? You know, yeah, hold your ears. Just- that's insane to think. I don't know. People saying that it didn't happen. Go down to the Manhattan and then show me where the Twin Towers are. And then if it didn't fucking happen, right? You'll, you'll yeah, right. Takes. Yeah, they tell me they're projections. I'm like, projections of what? Like, I'm like, all right. Like, I know what's going on here. Well, so, yeah, I mean, I'll watch the movie and I'll be like, this is crazy. Yeah. Like I suspected. You know right. what I'm saying? But that's, hey, listen, that's all you need to say. If you watch the movie, and you said that shit was crazy, that shit was crazy. And you move on with your day. You right, don't have right. to blow it up where it's that big of a deal. Right. You know, once it's blown up like this, then everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to know what you're talking about it. Maybe right. Maybe that does seem like part of the plan. It's crazy. It's just a, just another experiment they're doing on us by the lizard people. Congrats, lizards. Yeah. You're doing well. <laughs> Man, you think this is the type of movie that you would like, like, Make popcorn for probably not yeah. right. Uh, you probably uh get the blankets out or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Just sit there like, and you just like kind of hide underneath the blanket, but you're watching it with like one eye open. Right. Like what? But yeah. also like, what am I? Why am I wasting my time with this fucking movie? Right. Like what? That could be it too. Maybe you shouldn't watch it because what if it turns you into a fucking psychopath? It's 
I mean, I know you don't, you're not, you're not that type of person that's, no. that's easily manipulated. Like, impressionable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we talked about those impressionable fucking motherfuckers. I'm sure there'll yeah. be some impressionable motherfuckers watching this fucking video and then they think like that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's why, like, they should have just took this fucking thing down. But then again, you go on YouTube, you just find anything you want. So it don't matter. Yeah. I mean, I'm slightly impressionable in certain things. I'm not going to lie. Like, like say, like, the 9-11 stuff where, like, I don't know, they say it was an inside job and all that kind of stuff. And I know you get a lot of backlash if you think that. But, you know, right. I'm, I'm pretty open-minded with that stuff. And I'll, I don't really trust our government. <laughs> They're people. They love fucking money. And, you know, there could be fucking reasons why they do certain things like that. Did it? Is it an inside job? I don't fucking know. Could it have been? Yeah, it could have been. And you can't say that it couldn't, could not have been, because we could, we say the same thing all the time. Like, like me and you could convince somebody something, and then we just fucking stab them in the back and be pieces of shit to them. It's the same thing as government officials doing the same exact thing to people that they don't give a fuck about, aka us. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and knowing that they're gonna be fine, and they're gonna make a shitload of fucking money off of it. You know, so who the fuck knows, man? I don't know. It's just. It's 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 crazy fucking shit. It's crazy shit. But you have to you have to. There's got to be a limit to it. You can't keep going down it. You can't become obsessed with it because then what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You're gonna turn into a fucking lunatic. You know what I mean? And that's all you focus on is going down these rabbit holes. It's like you want to do a little research. You want to like think about a little. I'm gonna put quote unquote conspiracy theory in it because that's just what they call them. Yeah, they do. Go ahead and have a fucking fun time. You want to go talk about your friends with it, but don't get fucking obsessed with it. You know. Right, don't become like that girl from uh, Homeland. You know, the fucking crazy girl from Homeland. No. Where she's obsessed with all that fucking kind uh, of shit. Don't do that. You know no. what I'm saying? But once you do that, it's over with. If you become obsessed yeah. and shit, like, you're going to be drawing, like, you're going to have boards at your house where you fucking have lines and shit, yeah. like, connecting the dots to fucking people. Like, you're going to lose your mind. When that happens, somebody won. And you did. It's not you. It's you, not lost. you, man. you lost. You yeah. lost. <laughs> You got to stay like you got to watch out. You got to stay above water. Yeah. Yeah. People are easily brainwashed and, you know, they think like, oh, this is the only way. And yeah. this is how I'm going to be fucking, you know, I don't know one of the Scientology people. They, oh, I'm going to go into a volcano and be reborn again. Whatever <laughs> the fuck they think. I don't know. They're fucking crazy. You got Tom Cruise jumping out of fucking couches on Oprah and shit. <laughs> the thing about like, being obsessed with that shit, though, too, is. It does nothing but ruin your life, like politics or something like that. Yeah. Like, motherfucker, some people get so into politics you can't have a conversation with them without them bringing it up, and then and then they slowly the rage slowly comes out, right. and then they're fucking fully <laughs> raged, and you're just like, dude, I'm trying to drink a beer, leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to talk about politics, <laughs> politics and religion, the two yeah. biggest divisions that people think maybe it's not, but it really is. If you think yeah. about it, unless you find a religion where you just are acceptable of all religions and everybody right. and let everybody just get along and be one big group. Yeah. Not and and also race, obviously, and like country, right? Mm -hmm. If we just, if we were all earthlings, <laughs> right? Where are you from? Earth. Like instead of where are you from? Oh, uh, Australia. Oh, I'm from Africa. I'm from fucking Egypt. I'm black. I'm white. I'm fucking yellow and fucking purple like a lot of colors we all live on the same fucking planet you know it's like then you got to separate everything even <laughs> us just before we're telling kentucky they suck because <laughs> we live in a little square on the fucking east coast a little bit. square a little box <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> they, stupid they don't suck we're just better, we're just better. yeah yeah i mean yeah you guys are good all this so let me let's talk about the quantum the quantum field a little bit, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this, this stuff out a little bit, and it, it has a lot to do with like energy and like the laws of like attraction. Oh, that like ties into it and stuff like that. But like, hey, Pastina, Mrs. Mittens, I, I can. Oh shit, cat. Pastina's out. Oh, no, it's Mrs. Mittens. It's it's the other cat. Oh, that's get, Mittens. Yeah, I get confused with all these cats. Look how sweet <coughs> this cat is. Mittens is gonna make a t our TV. On TV, fucking look, she's gonna give me a hug on TV. Is it is it Mrs. or Mr. Mittens? It's Mrs. Mittens. Look how sweet this cat Mrs. is. Mrs. Mittens. Just give me a hug. 
Yo, know, cats just do that. Usually, cats don't do that. Uh, she's she's a human. Really? Yeah. She's look at dude. Look at this. She's hu she's hugging me. That's crazy. Um, that's a good. How many cats are in that place? Three. Like six. Three. Yeah, three. I consider Oof. myself a cat too. I consider myself a cool cat. That's fucking. Yep. Yep. Like that. Um, the more cats, the barrier, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm hoping so, you get like eight to ten. I'm just right there. <laughs> <laughs> so the the um the 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 what's it called the uh, what world is it the Earth the quantum world the, the quantum, quantum quantum universe it's basically everything is tied together in this energy field right and it's the way that you can get in touch with the quantum field by elevating your emotion and your thought. And you're tying them into one thing. Like it's basically like the law of attraction where if you have the strong enough desire and strong enough like thought that it kind of gets put into it causes creates emotion and then emotion goes out there and creates like the physical world. Right. So and it's all like this yin yang stuff like and and whatever you put out there does come back because everything apparently in the universe has a perfect reaction to any action, right? If I punch the wall, something's going to happen. Either I'm going to damage the wall, I'm going to break my fucking hand or both, <laughs> right? Yep. So, but if you put goodness out there, it's 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 a magnet. It comes back. It's going to come back to you apparently. Like that's just the way it goes, right? And there's these secrets that have been just fucking not told to people. Like, I don't want to get into like religion and stuff like that, but yeah, I stumbled yeah. upon this other video of like the, the gospel of Thomas. And apparently like it was like not put into the Bible because it had all these secrets or something like that, that I guess maybe, I don't know, the religious figures didn't want anybody to know. And they say wow. things that basically talk about, they don't teach you how to do things. Like they say like in the Bible, but, the, the gospel of Thomas like told you how to do this kind of stuff. Like, you know, once your thoughts and your, um, your emotions and desires collide, then you're basically unstoppable and you connect with the inner God and you become like the universe and stuff like that. Like that's this kind of stuff was like taken out of the Bible. So, wow. It was almost like they wanted to dumb you down in a way. Yes. That's what it sounds like, you know, but I'm I'm kind of searching for Gospel of Thomas secrets. That's what I'm googling <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um I'm kind of like I feel like there's so much more lately, man. Like and it's like every little every every couple like I don't know like these time segments something new opens up in your mind and you say to yourself like, "Wait, what if what if this is real? I'm like, maybe this is real. Maybe the quantum field is real and all this energy. And it is, man, because I was listening to some, I know I'm rambling right now, but I was listening to a quantum physics theory podcast today. Wow. I had no idea. I had no idea what the fuck this guy was talking about. <laughs> At the same time, I, Mike, I did. I did know what he was talking about. <laughs> I picked up on little, little snippets and it brought new ideas into my, my mind. Like, cause he's talking about like all these different like protons and quarks and all this shit. Uh -huh. But there would be like, you know, some little segments that it'd be like, whoa. So if that's that, then maybe this is this, you know what I mean? And it's just fucking wild. And he did say that there was stuff that's faster than the speed of light to this guy. Oh yeah. Which, yeah. which we were talking about the other right, day. Like, I that, yeah. And that's the quantum field though. It's like you can access everything almost in the to the end of the fucking universe like that it's we're gonna figure it out we gotta figure it out i mean have you ever quantum leaped <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying that like quantum leap for people that didn't watch the show it kind of had something like weird to do with like what you're talking about in a way but my man jumped through time through time thing how to solve things to make it better yeah like these where are those kind of shows nowadays besides the new revival of quantum leap that just came out a couple <laughs> weeks ago but yeah like great storyline great like the, he always had success scott Bakula went back in time fucking fixed the thing before this happened or changed the world mm -hmm. and he leaped and helped out and i'm like what a great story he's going around just fixing all the fucking crappy shit that happened yeah. you know fucking what a great idea you know yeah 
But I don't know. All these That's... quantum mechanics and all that fucking shit. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's cool to like listen to, but I, I'll lose my train of thought real quick if I had to listen to that dude's podcast on quantum physics. <laughs> But that's what they said too, that in quantum physics, like if you could do something, then you could, then the future could actually change the past or something like that. You know? Yeah. And what if, oh man, I had this idea the other day, like if time doesn't really exist, because you're supposed to be like, I'm reading a book that's called The Seven Principles of Success. And it says something about like time. And it's like, like the past, obviously, you know, it's almost like the past didn't even exist, doesn't doesn't exist anymore because it's over. You can't fucking change it, right? It is what it is. Right. Future isn't real. It's not there, really, you know? And the, the present is now. It's the only thing that really exists is right fucking now, right? Yeah. The past, the past is imaginary in a way. And the future is whatever, but like it is what it is, but like the fucking present is now. So what if time doesn't actually fucking exist and we're just on this like linear plane that everything is happening at like that and it's all just it's just it's just already happened almost in a way and it's also happening at the same time i don't fucking know what i'm talking about but like what if time <laughs> doesn't exist and it's just it just is everything just is i don't know i, I can't know. my mind can't just go there it's like me it's like asking like oh why why how come all the planets exist? Why don't they exist? If they didn't exist, then stars don't exist. And then, right. you know what I'm saying? It just gives, you, gives me like brain fucking freeze. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to like fucking. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. I guess, I'm just hoping we find out like one day. Right. I think we will, man. I think we I think become cool part. I think we become part of the quantum field and like the whole, the whole network of it all, man. What if we're like, so, so super lucky, like that we're in like this universe, maybe there's multiple, multiple universes and we're in a gnarly one. <laughs> it is pretty gnarly. You know, I'm feeling it. I just, <clears throat> I feel like I felt what it's like to be in the universe just now. Like I could feel like being part of that, network how many that, edibles did you take none i'm telling <coughs> you man i can feel it like oh my throat i feel it in the back you can feel it going down your spine your, your your nervous system is connected to it for sure it's gotta be yeah it is it it basically is it i mean you're <coughs> your, your nerves it's are going just, through it's you a, yeah it's a neural path it's a neural network just like everything the energy it's like we can't see it but it's here like all this space around you you think it's like nothing it's so weird number one that you could see through this space right like look yeah, around right. right now like <laughs> to the wall there's nothing see, there right there's nothing from you to the wall but yet i could see through space that's fucking right. nuts there is something there though right there has to be right it's not it's not just space what the fuck is it i don't fucking know like yeah like but I could swim there to get there. Like I could move to get there. What am I? What am I going through right now? Nothing. But it's got to be something. Mike, I think we just <laughs> cracked. I think we might have thought a hypothesis far, farther than anybody. <laughs> ever, I, I can't even think. Right now. I think we crossed like the line a little bit. We so. like. I'm like. They be like, "Yo, get the fuck out of here! You're not ready for this." <laughs> <laughs> what are we in right now? What are we in? We're in something. Yeah, it's like a fucking fish tank. I'm telling you, we're in a fucking fish tank. We we all we all have like these little fish tanks we grew up with, but somebody has us in a little fish tank. You know what I'm saying? It's just a it's a connection. Yeah. We're just one stage higher than these stupid little fish. Right. You You're know right. what I'm saying? We're in an air fish tank. Air fish tank. They just Threw us down here, like, go to fucking do your shit. And then they're just watching us fucking, like, do crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. It's like, these motherfuckers are nuts. 
I think if I think about this too much, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Right, I know. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to get fucking like people to fucking come lock you up in the loony bin and shit. Like yo, he, he went off, man. He was doing this fucking podcast, oh, and then he went too deep, man, and he just never came out. I, I, Mike, I think that we may have got we just we just broke the tip of the iceberg on thinking outside of the box just now. <laughs> It might be, dude. I think we did get there. Because if we're thinking that, then what the fuck else have we been missing? I don't know. Right. Something right before our eyes, like space. Right. (laughs) What else are we missing? You just answered your own question. What the fuck is this stuff? What is this? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's like. I don't know, man. They just that's what they give it. That's our water to survive. We need, you know, like fish need water. Yeah. Oxygen is just like whatever they're throwing down. It's like, yeah, hey, we we keep these motherfuckers alive with this uh this this, this stuff called air. <laughs> it's crazy, and it does air. have like there's a thickness to air too, though, right? Like we just like there's yeah, a resistance ever, there. You ever try to shadow box? It hurts. Yeah, it's like you're going, you're fighting through air. <laughs> Fucking real, man. That shit is real. Oh my god. How'd you get? Uh, how'd you get so jacked, bro? I was fucking uh, working out to, with air. <laughs> Dude, air's I'm, heavy, man. I'm fucking, I'm I'm fucked. I'm fucked in the, in the mind right now, man. How Are much? You, how what? Much, how much does air weigh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like I put up two hundred in air today, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm broski. Just... Yo, I just bicepsed seventy five airs on each arm. <laughs> <laughs> fucking air is dense bro I don't know man I don't know like yeah you, yeah, dude I'm telling you that's how I picture it We're just there's something here gigantic fish tank there's something in between me and the wall right now it's called a ghost <laughs> <laughs> no I'm telling you fucking Mike. Slimer. Mike there's something <laughs> there's something there. there there's something everywhere and we just can't fucking see it I think that's what the quantum field is man i really think that it is it's here it's everywhere we got to connect to it somehow we got to figure out a way to connect to it i'm sure there's a way shit maybe we just need more time to think about it maybe a week maybe a few days i don't know we'll see we'll see when nick is able to get back on the podcast (laughs) so hopefully nick you're back again next week we'll do a little Maybe a little like uh, I will look for apps and shit like on your phone to find out like the secrets of the universe. Yeah. Um, what the fuck is air? What's between air and the wall? Yeah. We can find out all these fucking things. All these fucking things. We go down on this crazy path called the Mix It Up podcast. That's right. But um, you know, before we go, Nick, just uh, shout out to you and Anne Marie again with the song, uh, nice. Fala La 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 song. You're about to hear it right now. Um, go to the uh, the link that's underneath the podcast to check out the YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe, like the video, and check it out. Here it is. Take nice. that listen. Peace. Peace. Sunshine speaks through the rain as the morning clouds go home. It's been a year since I've seen that day. The time has really grown. Just picking up the pieces of a warm embrace. Head it down to the end of that stream. Head on down to the river with me. Follow and lay it all. Come to the river with me.
stone. 